What would happen if every single player graduated in one offseason? Well, today, I've made every single player on Miami of Ohio a redshirt senior, and we'll see if newly hired head coach Richie Honeybug can manage to win this program a national title. Because not only does he have every player graduating, he'll also have to overcome only being allowed to recruit three-star players until we win the MAC conference, and he won't ever be allowed to recruit five-star talent. Finally, once we get the program somewhat decent, since we're bitter rivals with Cincinnati, once we beat them twice, we'll move up to the Big 12. Having no players on the roster may seem scary, but Coach Honeybug truly believes he can win this college football team with zero players a national title and as expected per the video every single player has graduated all oh gosh how many players are on this team like 70 i think yeah oh so many people this is not gonna be easy whatsoever but that is the whole point of the video my saving grace for the first couple of years has got to be the transfer portal come on coach honey bun come on coach honey bun come on coach honey bun oh, just one guy sincere mcneil he's only 70 63 oh, okay well that is disappointing on a sunny day and I'm not feeling great. We're going with the spray and pray approach, and I don't think it's going to work at all. Canyon Ford, we're going a thousand. Mike Dixon, a thousand. A thousand for Michael Burley, a thousand for Brennan Zerberg, and then a thousand for Tariq Hughes. I sincerely doubt that we get most of these guys we're going after, but I just, it's its the whole point. It's called spray and pray for a reason. We should be able to get Caden Brown, though. I really hope so, unless the Mormons go after him, which would not be cool. Okay, Coach Honeybun went up a level. That's got to be some sort of good sign, right? Yellow. Oh, we actually did pretty good. How did we not get Caden Brown, though? So the spray prey approach was pretty effective, except for Caden Brown going to the Mormons. I think we got everybody that we put a thousand points into. That is shocking. I did not think that would work at all, but I think they saw instant play time and they said, sign me up. Okay, I'll tell you, it's not that bad. So that makes this Coach Honeybud's first recruiting class of the video, and surprisingly, our best commits a punter. So, I mean, we're gonna have good special teams for the future. I guess that's nice, but all in all, I mean, there's only 11 guys. I tried my best, but but clearly it did not do that great. I think next year the approach is going to be kind of the same. Just try and hit as many positions as possible because we don't have receivers. We don't have offensive linemen. So maybe we'll get lucky and get some walk odds, but I really doubt that'll happen. I mean, we'll get walk odds. I'm just saying, I don't think any of them are going to be good. Whoa, we do have two four stars walking on. Huh, that's bizarre. Well, I mean, maybe one of those two guys are good. I can't really cut them. So they're going to have to be on the team, unfortunately, for the roles of the video. So, okay, well, one of them is very good. Quinton Martin, what position is he going to play? Receiver? No, oh, he's defensive guy okay we're gonna put him at ooh, yeah free safety let's put him in the best position the other one was offensive lineman right no he's a defensive lineman Quintavious Johnson okay so they were both actually really good players I mean I can't cut them so I guess I'll take it I mean they're walking on so our defensive line honestly isn't half bad I think I'm gonna move one of these guys defensive tackle yeah let's move Mike Dixon there perfect we also ended up somehow getting another punter I didn't even go out uh, that's strange okay so our special teams are gonna be electric for the next four years we just gotta fill out the rest of the team basically because like at receiver we have nobody here that can actually play like sincere has to set out a year because the old stupid transfer rolls so i'm really curious how the cpu fills this out i think we're gonna have a bunch of 40 overalls walk on too that's my guess i mean i guess we'll see what happens nope i was wrong we won't have any receivers on the team at all so are we just gonna run the ball like is that all we're gonna do or is our quarterback brendan zerbrug gonna have to like throw it to himself in the air or throw it to our tight I mean, that's how is that going to work uh, who are they gonna put I don't know. They're probably gonna put like a quarterback out there or something. Some guys will have to play it both ways. I wish we had Travis Hunter or something like that, but yeah. I mean, it's it's not a stellar roster by any means. <laughs> oh man, we need to get some receivers pretty bad. What else? Quarterbacks, right? Yeah. Oh gosh, look at all these 40 overalls, man. Ugh. It unfortunately didn't really address cornerback. I tried, but like everybody I went after, somebody else got on and they ended up taking them from us. Kind of what California's doing with Marquise Williams. So yeah, that really sucks. Same thing with receiver. Like we have a bunch of them on our board, but but only one of them committed now. Granted, he's really good. 76 overall, Jane Williams. But like most of these guys were in battles for. So that'll be very annoying on Saturday day. But all in all, this is the recruiting class that we ended up getting this year for Coach Honeybun. There's some really good players like Matthew Whitener. Oh, that's an interesting uh, last name. Luke Schwartz. I got some really good defenders. It's just needed those corners and needed those receivers. And we only have one commit out of both positions. So yeah. Oh my gosh. We got three quarterbacks. Well, that's a little overkill. Well, I guess we'll have good depth there for the future. But yeah, man, there's definitely a lot of guys who are going to have to try and get on sign today this year. And no surprise, we sucked. <laughs> oh, and 12. We only scored 85 points, man. Oh, this roster. There is just not a lot of talent on it. There's not a lot of players. I mean, the FCS schools were blowing us out. That's an awful, awful, awful situation. Oh, gosh, dude. The most points we scored in a game this year were 14 against Akron. So, yeah, were any of these, like, single digits? No. 
Not a single one. Man, well, I can't say I'm surprised, so it sucks, but I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. Did anybody do anything of somewhat decencyness? Like Brandon Zerberg, five touchdowns? Yeah, no, nope, 12 interceptions, bad. Uh, rushing the ball was also really bad. Receiving, we have no receiver, so who do we throw to? Looks like our tight end. Okay, all tight. Yep, we threw to a strong safety. I knew it. <laughs> Gosh, dude, this is so bad because I didn't even address wide receiver through the recruiting. I tried to, but we've lost out on everybody I went after. I don't know. There's clear playing time there, but clearly they did not care enough. But the most TFLs of the team was Anula, La Fela, and then, yeah, not really that many sacks. So there's not really anything impressive here. Come on, I need some luck here, dude. I wish I had, like, a lucky rock or something. Last year, the transfer portal, like, shafted us. Like, come on, dude. Like, give me some, like, power five players that want playing time. That's really as simple as that. Oh, my. That's, that's what I get. 50 not overall for Temple? Come on, man. Okay, well, the strategy's got to change this Saturday day. I'm not going to go with the spray and pray approach because there's just not enough guys I can spray and pray for. So I'm going to go more like sniper approach, like that one Russian. Or was was he a Russian? Who was that guy that killed like hundreds of people and like got his arm shot off and he still sniped? I don't know who it was. I think it happened in like World War II or something like that. Maybe, I don't think it was Russia. I don't remember what country it was, but that's what we're doing. We're focusing on Ernest Trawick and also Antonio Adams. Both these guys will be able to immediately play if we can get them. And I think we should, unless like one of these schools that are contending with us goes all out, which would really suck. Yes, we got both Ernest and Antonio. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I got fired this offseason. I forgot to change the recruiting thing. So the CPU added other guys to the board. It looks like the CPU might have added some guys that we wouldn't have got it anyway. Okay, well, I guess that was unintentionally really good because we somehow got a cornerback. Okay, good job, CPU. So that makes this the recruiting class for year two and coach Honeybun. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know how we got some of these guys like Tyree Neek Dickamaniche. I don't know how we picked him up because I did not recruit him. Maybe. I don't know. I definitely did not. So there's definitely some guys that we got that I did not anticipate getting like Nate Ash did not recruit him. So good job CPU because I like I said, I did not add these guys to the board. We actually ended up getting a couple offensive linemen too. Okay. I mean, I think we did a pretty good job with just cornerback. Like we got to get at least three of those next year. It's got to be ranked higher than last year. Oh no, last year the four stars. Forgot about that. Yeah, we signed a lot more guys though. 63 so not too bad i will say though we're gonna have to get some more offensive linemen too looking at this roster yeah there just needs to be better depth because offensive line is so hard to recruit in this game to begin with so i mean we don't have bad starters it's just there's not many of them if that makes sense we got to prioritize offensive line and also tight end because there's only one good guy colton heinrich and behind him is a six seven guy that sucks at football man Wasted potential right here, Michael Freeman. Wasted potential. And then lastly, we could still use some defensive linemen. Like, granted, we've recruited this position pretty well, but there's just not much depth here. Now, that's kind of the same thing with every position, but it's defensive tackle, I think we gotta try and hit. So, I'm hopefully gonna get another 20-man class, but like I said, Coach Honeybun got fired, so I don't think we're gonna be able to recruit as well as we did last year. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky, but I don't know. I doubt it. Last year, we were around, like, what, like a 48, I wanna say, or something like that? I'm gonna guess this year we're in the 60s. Yeah, 68 progress. We're moving forward. We didn't lose this star for the team prestige, but we went 0 and 12. So that's not really shocking. Can we at least like beat a MAC team this year? Maybe. I see some 77s, some 79s, some 74. So there's potential for it, but clearly we still have a little bit more work to do to uh, win the MAC. But I'm sure Coach Honeybun will get it done. Yeah, we're not great still. One and four. Our one win is against an FCS school, so don't get your hopes up. I mean, the good news is Akron's really bad. Bullet Green's really bad, and so is Buffalo. They're all 0 and 5. So I mean, maybe there's an opening this year for us to beat a MAC team or two. But yeah, our only win was an overtime against an FCS school. Not great. I mean, we got spanked by NIU, Cincinnati. We actually had a close game with Eastern Michigan and then Central Michigan. They destroyed us. So our defense clearly is not very great. Neither is our offense, apparently. Team vibes are really low right now, Coach Honeybun. So we'll see if we can maybe pull off an upset against Ball State. They're 2-0 in the MAC, so it's not looking likely, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. And for this game against Ball State, we have a lot of guys visiting. I don't know how we found an 82 overall tight end, but we we have to get this kid no matter what it takes so if we get some out just make the game close that's all i'm asking for i think we can maybe pick up some commitments because it looks like donnell rose one of our commits is visiting too so he will hopefully apply some peer pressure and i know that coach honeybun loves and takes pride in having the best snack bar in the country so those two things could be a feather in our cap to get some commits and it's not going great we can't score and they have the ball in the red zone okay well they're keeping it with a quarterback oh my gosh dude everybody's getting pancaked oh come on dude no what 
Wow. Okay. Well, apparently that was just a touchdown. I don't know. Oh, he just got stiff hard for five yards. Oh, yes. Okay. We're showing some signs of life. We actually have the ball in their territory for the first time this game. So clearly we have to uh, capitalize on this opportunity because it probably won't happen again. Zerbrug is a southpaw. That's news. X. Oh, my God. Well, no wonder we can't move the ball. He couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. Oh, my gosh. We can't. Oh, we can kick, though. Yeah, we can. We have a great kicker. Coach Honeybun says to go for it, but no, we are kicking this. We are not going to get skunked. We are going to kick our points, and we're going to make this, too. We got the wind going away from us, actually. Please, come on. He's got the power. Yeah, come on. That's why we got the kicker and the punter last year. Let's go. We are on the board. Well, I want to say that we put up a fight, but we clearly did not. Or de are you serious? Are we really... Dude, this is just embarrassing. Like, it's Ball State. It's not like we're taking on Alabama. Like, come on, man. The karate chops, the stiff arms. Like, oh, man, have some pride. I don't blame any of these kids, man. If I would have witnessed that live, honestly, I think I would have walked out at halftime. That was embarrassing. I mean, somehow we got one commit Brandon Creamer. <laughs> His last name. But all in all, dude, it was not a successful visitors weekend at all whatsoever. The honey bun snack bar was ineffective. And, you know, not that bad. I mean, 3-9, obviously we sucked. Like, that was kind of a given. But we won a game in the MAC. it looks like. Yeah, I see one on the conference. Okay. They'll take that. I mean, their defense was bad, so was the offense. But we managed to squeak out one win. And that's all I wanted. Now, the question is... Who was our victim? Was not Kent State Buffalo. It was Akron on the road, too. We went to another team's stadium and picked up the dub. Only lost to Bowling Green by three, and then we barely beat an FCS goal. But we ended the season losing to Ohio by 29. That game was not close. Brace yourselves, my friends. Be ready. Brandon, or Brendan, the Southpaw. Oh, whoa. He wasn't that bad. Why would why did he suck so much in the game when I played with him then? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe he's just a really good sim quarterback, but when I played with him, he was throwing quackers left and right. Maybe some more surprising things will happen. I mean, Davian was okay, so not really anything here that's too surprising. Colton was her best receiver. Oh, Jaden Williams. I told you, dude, that guy was going to be an instant stud. It looks like the receivers definitely helped at the office this year, that's for sure. We weren't thrown to our strong safeties, and then and New Lou had 86 tackles as a defensive end. That is insanity. Most TFLs tied with Quintavious Johnson, and then the the, uh, the most sacks was Mike Dixon up the middle. As for the recruiting trail, I have some sad news. It looks like other people found out about Charlie Lyons. Yeah, we put 500 points into him every single week, and they just managed to come back. That's the curse of not being a high-level coach, because I could have closed this kid out if I could put 700 into him. But regardless, we do have some new commits, though. Like, this class is coming together pretty nicely. I wish we had some more guys committed, but it's not that bad. Like I said, Coach Honeybun got fired last year, so his recruiting's not nearly as good as it was last year. But it's not horrible. Like, we picked up a tight and we got some defensive tackles. I wish we could have gotten some offensive linemen, but that did not happen. And we got a really good corner too, Brandon Willis. He's a stud. Offseason time now in quarterbacks transfer. Not really the end of the world. We have like five quarterbacks I've got in the last two years. So best of luck at San Jose State Max. Then, oh, dang it. That's right. Mike's, Mike's gone. So he was one of our best commits this video, but he was a Juco. So yeah, goodbye, Mike. As for signing day this year, I'm terrified. I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to put 5,000 points. So there's the two best guys that we have a chance of getting. Charlie Lyons I need this kid. Please don't leave me, Charlie. We were the leaders from start to finish. We found you first, dude. I don't know if that guy lives on a ranch in the middle of nowhere. I have no clue, but we were the first to find him. Hopefully that means something. And then Cameron Brown, I'd rather go after him because we have no chance getting Vinton Waiters. I don't know why, but Central Michigan looks like the team to beat there. We really have no chance with him. And the rest of these guys, like, I wish I could put like a thousand points in it like James Barney, but I just got to cross my fingers that the guys that we're leading for actually commit to us. Like, that would be beautiful. Like, Trey, come on, man. Come become a, what, a Red Hawk, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy. Really? At least we got Charlie, but like, we got Cameron too, but this is what I was worried about. Was this stupid James, Mr. Barney, and Trey not committing, bro? Oh, man. Uh, would have loved to have had those two on the squad, but at least you got both the guys that we really needed. Like, missing out on Trey and James, though, that, that makes me sad. So that makes this the haul for this year, and it's pretty decent. It's not as good as Close last year. It's not even close. I mean, it's unfortunate, but that's just what happens when you get fired, man. Thankfully, I didn't get fired this year, though, but next year, we've got to have a good season because Coach Honeybun's job security is low. It is not high <laughs> whatsoever, but yeah, it's a pretty solid class. I wish we could have gotten on some offensive linemen, but we only signed 12 guys, so there's not too many positions that we fill.
build out. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with like the top quality we got. Like 92? That's not bad. We lost another star though, so we're down to one star. It's unfortunate, but I think that's just the reality of the situation. Who has been working hard this offseason? Our punter and our kicker. <laughs> two of our best players. Our two best players, I should say. Quentin Martin, Quintavious Johnson, a plus six, Davian Goss. Okay. I mean, there's some solid pieces here. Clearly, this team's not stellar, but guys, we're on the max, so we don't really need to be that great. But I mean, I'm kind of like what I'm seeing. There's not too many plus threes. There are some, but I think there's clearly going to be a step forward this year. I mean, if we lose like every Mac game, that would really, really suck. And I'd get fired again. So let's just win some more. I know it's easier said than done, Southpaw Mr. Brennan Zerbuck, but come on, dude. I don't know how he was so good last year, to be honest with you. Hopefully, he takes another step forward. I mean, his awareness is an 84. Like, his awareness is pretty good. Like, he knows what's going on in the field most of the time. So that's a good sign. And honestly, a second look at the roster, I just went through every single position. I don't really think we have like a glaring weakness. We actually had some offensive linemen last year that were athletes. So I kind of changed them to that. So there's pretty good depth here. The only thing I'm kind of worried about, to be honest with you, is us not getting those star players. Those like high 70s, low 80s. Like we need some more Charlie Lyons on top of like 67s and 70 overalls for some nice blend, if that makes sense. Because, you know, you need strawberries, but you also need bananas, even though strawberries are clearly superior to make it taste good together. So I think this year's recruiting class, we got to get talent at the top, but we got to get quality at the bottom. And that's the approach, Coach Honeybun. And with the schedule this year, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's the Mac, and I'm still scheduling these FCS schools because we only won three games last year, and two of them were against them. So, I mean, I don't see us competing with Cincinnati this year, maybe next year or the year after, but we'll see about that. If we could just win, like, maybe two games of the Mac, I would consider that a success. I don't see a massive jump happening this year, but it'd be nice if it did. Yep, no jump. I wish, man, I wish. Maybe if we had a trampoline or something, but I don't have one of those. I wish I could do a backflip. I always did that, but I always landed on my neck. I don't know how I never got hurt. You know, maybe you just have an indestructible body. I don't know. It's a good question. Either way, though, who did we beat? Both FCS schools and, yeah, just, I mean, at least the games are closer, except for Central Michigan. That was a spanking, but we beat Kent State. Okay. I mean, I'll take that. Some more sad news. Rio Loeffler from Strongsville, Ohio. 6'7", monstrosity. Offensive tackle, 84 overall. He went to Pittsburgh. That sucks. I don't know how higher programs, like, weren't after him. I mean, he was only a three-star, but he was a gem, but the recruiting class we have so far is pretty good. I think we already had 12 guys signed, right? One, two, three. Three, four. Yeah, there's just a lot of quantity at the bottom. Now, we're still trying to fill out the top because, like I said, I want the top dogs, then I want the depth below. It's kind of like a nice built, like, cake. You got the icing on top. You got the fluffy vanilla on the underneath, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So we got to try and get some of these top dogs up here, like these 70 plus overalls. But I'm pretty happy with how it's going, to be honest with you. I think this recruiting class has the potential to be the best one of the video, which we desperately need. We also desperately need to win again, man, just for like team morale. And so Coach Honeybun doesn't get fired. I mean, Akron's not that great. Didn't we beat them last year? Just remember that. Memory. Work. Yeah, I don't recall, to be honest. We might have. I don't know, but we're better overall. So hopefully that means something. Circle. Oh, is that going to be a touch of South Pole? with the dime pew 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 i did not anticipate that his accuracy is pretty okay it's working like it's better but he doesn't have much zip on the ball i was kind of like a nice little like floater that was like a rainbow sadly they tied it right back up oh screw you akron it's fine we got this south paul just another touch right here we need to execute oh dear god they're blitzing square please get open Oh, did it work? He did. Let's go. Ernest Trawick. I think the DB was like turned around. It's the only reason why he caught it. Good job. All right. We're up seven now. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We're up four late. Oh, shoot. They have no timeouts. Oh, they have no timeouts. I didn't even realize that. Okay. I don't know why I just ran the ball. Oh, we're about to get a first down. Doesn't even matter. Bro, we're going to win. Let's go. Man, we didn't win a single game for the rest of the season. Is that really what I'm looking at? Come on. Dude, guys. Oh, man. Like, the defense was just... 42 against Bullet Green. 42 against Ohio. I mean, the offense was all right, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. I thought that we'd do a little bit better. Like, Bullet Green went 4-5 and five and we're a better team. So, yeah, that sucks. How did Brandon do this year? I'm expecting a little bit better, just to be honest. And, yep, he was definitely not the problem. Good job, Brandon. South Paul running the ball. Oh, Davian got hurt. Pooey. Maybe that's why we sucked. I don't know. Receiving, though, it was Jane Williams. No shocker. I mean, we have a lot of good young players so glass half full is that you know the future's bright glass half empty we still suck this year even with a team that was better than some of the mac teams we played so i don't know what to believe in but i try to be an optimistic person as much as possible matthew whitener had 100 tackles the defensive end i don't think i've ever seen that in a video he had 24 tfls at eight and a half sacks oh gosh they're gonna tamper tamper matthew hopefully you don't like money that's our only hope of keeping you and then quintavious johnson was also insane like the defense had some good players i mean we also picked up some new commits like Derek wine 6'6 outside linebacker i'm in love 
Bo Valentini, uh, Courtney Irison. No, I don't know if he was already committed. Some of these guys were already committed, but we picked up some new guys. Did I really just see what I just saw? A six, seven strong safety. Oh my God, dude. Who are his parents? Jesus. Oh my goodness. That shouldn't even be allowed, bro. That guy's parents is like, it's an alien. Maybe it was the mailman, like how it was with Michael Jordan. I don't know, but either way, this class is looking really solid. You guys have already seen most of these guys. I think we only added like four or five, but still, yeah. This class has got a lot of depth. Another off season after a sucky season is ahead, and only one graduate. William Allen, 55 overall. Not gonna miss you, man. Maybe you'll become like an engineer, or you'll go to the moon. Maybe you'll be the first man on Mars. I have no idea who I am, but you will not be a football player, that's for sure. Oh, yes! Where was this year one? Dude, I've been waiting for a transfer. It's actually good, and we get one. Eric Brod next coming out of position that we don't really need anymore but i mean he's a 76 overall i'll definitely take him let's go smart choice eric always oh, from the rival too i just realized that we're gonna play cincinnati next year too okay this year for science day we're kind of doing both approaches at the same time we're spraying and praying with chris you know tavian keon david and jameer but then we're also focusing on cody golston oh man the leprechauns are gonna get him aren't they i hope they don't go after him i honestly think there's a real world where we can get all these guys now will we probably not because I've been pretty unlucky this video, at least in my opinion. Yep, I knew it. We only got three guys. Well, at least get the two highest overall ones. Ended up getting Cody, Chris, and Keon, so it's not the end of the world. It could have been a little bit worse. Giving us the 46th ranked class in the country. Honestly, not that bad, and it sucks because it should have been better, like I said. Like, we had a couple guys that did not commit anywhere. Like, they just decided to go nomad or something like that. I have no idea. Maybe they're going to become, like, Scooby-Doo and the gang. They're just going to travel in a van. Going from uh, coast to coast, I have no clue. But that is their life, not mine. Here's the hall, though, top to bottom. You guys have already seen most of it. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. I wish we could have gotten, like, an 80 overall like we did last year with the tight end. But, I mean, it's not bad. We have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70 plus overalls. So it's not horrible. I'm definitely a happy camper. What are realistic expectations heading into year four? Well, it's a pretty solid. Wow, this seems actually not that bad. Okay, yeah. If we uh, do not make a bowl game this year, I'll be pretty disappointed. Disappointed, I'll be honest. Like, we should, uh, we should win the MAC, I think. Maybe one of these MAC teams will be, like, a 90 overall somehow, but we should probably be better than most teams we play this year. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what we could do. I mean, Brandon's back for another season. He's up to 94 awareness. Like I said, every year he's gotten better and better at quarterback, so I'm expecting another jump up. I mean, he has better talent around him this year, too. That should help him. I mean, like I said, he's got Davy and Gossi at running back. He's really good. We also got a really good receiver, Jaden Williams, then Ernest Trawick, and then tight end. You guys know Charlie alliance like there's some weapons on offense and the offensive line isn't like horrible it's not like revolving door or anything so it shouldn't be that bad i mean the defense isn't horrible either like we're just a solid team Solid team. We should win eight games and make a bowl game. Pretty easily, in my opinion. Whoa! The smart people that do the analysis have us in last place. Dude, we're in 86? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we are easily the best team in our division. I mean, the closest team's at 81, so we have a five overall differential, guys. If we don't win the MAC East this year, like, bro, there's something cursed. It's gotta happen. It's as simple as that. We're just so much better. Even if we play bad, we should easily win this division, in my opinion. So, I guess we'll find out. Well, we're four and two, so not bad. We're two and one in the Big Ten. So we're tied for second place in the division, right? Because everybody else is 2-1. and one. Yeah. Who'd we lose to, man? I was hoping we'd be undefeated in the MAC, but clearly they're not. Oh, my goodness. We lost to Eastern Michigan by 11. Also lost to Cincinnati in overtime. That would have been a big-time win for us, but every other game really wasn't close that we won. Oh, wait. No. Southeastern Missouri. Hmm. Somehow that was close. Don't like that. Who knows, though, Coach Honeybun? Maybe we can re-steer the ship on this thing and win out the rest of the MAC games. It starts against Buffalo today, though. We gotta win this game. And for this game against Buffalo, we have practically almost our entire recruiting board visiting, so it's pretty important that we win this game because, you know, Coach Honeybun got fired again, so <laughs> yeah. He is not that great at recruiting right now, so we need all the help we can get. So a win right here, that would really help us out. I could not emphasize that enough. So far, it's going pretty well. We're up four, and we have the ball in the red zone, so yeah, we have a chance to make us a lava point lead. We just need to do that. I mean, it's third Nuketown, though, so I don't really feel too great. Okay, I just gotta check this down. They're they're so fast in the pass rush. Yeah, I just gotta take my field goal, unfortunately. Yeah, I hate doing this, man, but I just gotta do it smart. I gotta help out the cause. Okay, we have a seven-point lead now. Now it's up to 11. Let's go, but I can't get too excited. They have the ball in the red zone. Defense, I need you right here. Come on, boys. Come on, guys. This would be embarrassing. Okay, thank you. To run, dude, that guy's monster. Okay, thank you. Oh, man, Tito Glass. I would not want to have to tackle that behemoth. So they always set over a field goal themselves. So we're just training field goals right now back and forth. I don't care. We have to leave. We just got to keep it at this point. Oh, my goodness. Okay, exact same score. I don't think it's as smart to go for it right here, but we're going to. YOLO. 
Come on, Southpaw. Prove me right. Oh, yeah, X. Please. Let's go. Man, he, that tight end, bro. He is going to be a monster when he's a senior. He's already probably one of our best players. Charlie Lyons seals the deal. Let's go, boys. Good win over the Bison. And balls. This is why being such a good recruiter in this game is so important. We won, and it's like plus 350, plus 450. I mean, that's just not much. I mean, at least you got two commits at Mike Matthews and Kenny Swain, but like, come on. Dude, plus 200 for Kale Bagel? I mean, man. Okay, this makes me feel better. 9-3. We won the Mac East. We're guaranteed to make a bowl game. The offense and the defense. Defense. Wow, we really turned things around. I mean, granted, we lost another game, which kind of sucks, but we definitely won more than we lost, clearly, so. Beat the crap out of Akron, Bowling Green. I mean, none of these games are cl Lost to 2 of 10, Ohio. Guys, God. seriously, bro? Oh, my goodness, dude. There's... Ugh, man, that's so bad. Why couldn't we just win out the rest of the games, dude? I think the players are partying, dude. They clinched the birth of the MAC Conference Championship, and they just, they just decided to just hang up the cleats. 22-6, and six, though, for Brendan the Southball. He was really good once again. Oh, it's the wrong thing. My bad. I'm an idiot. Rushing the ball, though. Davian was solid. I'm gonna miss this kid. Oh, my God. Gosh, Tyler Mason averaged 7-4 a rush, dude. That is absurd. Thankfully, that guy's coming back next year. That's beautiful. Receiving, Jane Williams is good. Ernest Trowick, Sincere McNeil, Colton Heinrich. Ow. Colton got more yards than Charlie. Hmm. And then lastly, on defense, Enulu Lafile was the best tackler. Most TFOs, and he got the most sacks, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Good job, dude. Where was the guy that um got all those sacks at TFOs last year in tackles? Did he graduate? I don't think he did. Or maybe that was him. I don't remember. My memory's not great. Here we are, though, finally. Coach Honeypun, we've made it, man. Conference Tournament Championship against NIU. We beat them in the regular season by double digits, so hopefully we just do that again. I don't want this game to be very stressful. I want this to be a nice, easy ride. Aha! We're up two to nothing. Let's go. Defense is doing their part, and we're about to score seven right here. We're going to be up nine. This is going beautifully. X? Oh, gosh. I don't know what to do. Oh, circle. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm just going for a stupid field goal again. I mean, the pass rush, I don't know what it is. In this game and in the other game I played, like, the defensive line just comes after us so fast. We need to recruit some offensive linemen or something, bro. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe they don't like blocking for the south pole or something. I have no clue what the issue is. But, like, in that game, too, I just never had time to throw a button. I mean, we're up five, so it's not that bad. Okay, well, this is why I wanted to get a touchdown. God dang it. Okay. They're at the goal line. It's fine. We can get a stopper here. I believe. Passing. Come on, throw a pick. Come on, right at me. No! Yeah. Balls. That's bad, man. What am I looking at? What is... Oh, my goodness, guys. Ugh, man, we beat them in the regular season. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's still time. There's still time, Tanner. We gotta convert this, though. Triangle, please. Are you... South Pole! Okay, well, we lost. That sucks. I don't know, man. I really hope the offense went on, like, a wilderness retreat or something. Coach Honeybun, we're playing New Mexico. They suck. They're a 72 overall. Like, this should be a win, but so should the Northern Illinois game, and we lost. So, I don't know what to expect. We'll see. Please fall for the run. Come on. No, New Mexico jerks. X. Okay, maybe they didn't fall for the run. Good job. Oh, this is the backup tight end to Colton. Okay. All right. Well, New Mexico is showing some signs of life. We're still up seven. Not really scared of anything. Let's just get seven. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I should run the ball. There's a lot of weird routes going on. I'm kind of confused. I don't know. My eyes suck enough. This is going to be challenging. R1. Oh, God. He did not get open. Triangle. There we go. Good job. Good decision, Tanner. Looks like the wilderness retreat worked for the offense. Wish we could have had this last game. I mean, we're up 14. It's really simple. It's just score one more time, and we will be... Oh, gosh. I don't remember what this bowl game is. I have no clue, but we will be that bowl game champion. I think it's the quick lane bowl. I don't really remember. I think it's that. Circle. Easy. Yeah. Get off that press coverage. Say no, no, no. Good job, Jane Williams. Yeah. Pretty dominant win. This is what I expected. Like I said, New Mexico only like a 72 overall. I don't know how they won six games this year. That is a absolute mystery. Really sad we did not win the MAC last year, but maybe we'll do it this year. And you, come on, man. Why? Oh, it's frustrating. Okay, well, uh, maybe I can convince him. No, I can't. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the Now I don't understand it. I don't, Bo. It sucks, dude. He's one of our best commits last year. But we do have our first draft pick of the video, Quentin Martin. He was only a four-year player too. This guy was an absolute stud. Uh, other graduates, I'm pretty sure most of these guys. Every single one are guys we recruited for the first year of this video. Oh my goodness, I just realized that. We're going to lose our putter and our kicker. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of like, these guys are all like staples. You know what I mean? Like Davy and Gassi. You also got uh, Enilu Lafile. Like, man, this sucks. The, the Southpaw, Quotavius Johnson. Like, this is a sad day, man. Now it's a happy day. Oh my goodness, dude. We're killing it with receivers in the portal, bro. Darius 
Bowens from Ohio State. He's staying in state. He's going to my aunt. Oh my goodness. 78 overall stud. And then we got his replacement, Mike Appleby. Okay. I mean, he's a little bit worse, but I mean, it kind of offsets because we have the stud coming in. Perfect, dude. Like I said, where was this at earlier in the video with the transfer portal? I don't know, but I'm glad it's happening now. Let's go, dude. Let's keep the happy times rolling, okay? Side day. Anthony Franklin, need you, bro. 6,000 points. We are committed. Hopefully, you're committed to us. Nicholas Zug. He's going to be our quarterback in the future if we can land this kid, please. 1,000 points there. 1,000 points for Peyton. I'm not going after Desi because I'd rather use the 1,000 points on Anthony because I really want to get this kid. And then 1,000 for Wayne and 1,000 for Phillips. So, honestly, I don't see how we don't get all of these guys. I mean, maybe we'll get screwed on one of them, but I feel pretty good, except for clearly Desi. I mean, we're not going after this kid. Good news. Please, yes! Let's go! We got everybody except for Desi. Yes, dude. Things are starting to align, man. This must be what it's like to see a shooting star, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'm feeling really good, honestly. I know this recruiting class isn't as good as the one last year, but as I said before, it wasn't going to be with Coach Honeybun getting fired, and it's honestly better than I thought we'd do. I mean... I know you you might say, oh, Tanner, well, you didn't do that great. Well, I know we didn't, but still, those transfers will help us out, and it's not like these guys are horrible. Like, Mac Matthews, he looks like he's going to be really good. I doubt we're ranked that high because we didn't sign that many guys. 60, oh, come on. You can't screw me like that, man. We were one spot away. I mean, we did get a star for Team Prestige, too, so that's also good news. I mean, I don't see us not winning the Mac this year unless we choke in the conference championship game again. Like, this team is not that bad. Like, there's a lot of seniors at the top. Like, these guys have been around a while. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too optimistic, but I don't see any other MAC team being better than us. But last year, there wasn't, and we still lost. So hopefully this year, we can have our clutch gene. Our new quarterback's gonna be Jordan Rivers, though. He doesn't look half bad. Like, 81 overall. He's got 64 speed. Uh, He's pretty aware, 84. Like, he doesn't look like he'd be horrible. I mean, it's not like he doesn't have weapons on offense. Tyler Mason, Nate Palmer. He's also got some good receivers. Jane Williams, uh, Ernest Trawick, and then you guys know about Charlie Lyons, and then also Colton Heinrich. So, he's definitely got people to throw to, and the offensive line isn't horrible either. So, I mean, I don't know. Last year, there was no excuses, and we still lost. So, Hopefully this year we can actually live up to what we should do because I don't see a world where we don't win the Mac. I mean, it should be pretty easy in my opinion. We should be able to beat Cincinnati too. I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, yeah, I knew it. We're up to an 88. I mean, it's only two overall higher, but I mean, clearly we're getting better. I mean, next year will be a top 25 team, then 13, then 8. Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Coach, Honey Bun, we have this program going in the right direction. I think that much is obvious. And we're off to a 1-0 start. We beat East Carolina only by 7 though. Oh, huh. well. Looks like our new quarterback played good i mean we ran the ball officially we oh my goodness bro yeah it was the defense okay well defense please play better against cincinnati man on the road we gotta beat our rival for the first time this video coach honey bun not going great so far we're down seven it's not ideal it's fine we're gonna get a touch right here i have faith let's just hand it off run it right at him bigger oh yeah easy nice push up front guys and they scored again so now we have to score again oh my gosh okay we got this x is that touch out of charlie oh i was easy it was like second and 20 but oh do we gotta handle it come on zebra man yep of course okay couldn't have it easy we're tied late in the fourth quarter we just gotta get into field goal range so it's as simple as that oh my gosh is that field goal range right there holy cow that was an absolute dime nice throw jordan rivers yeah we're at the 40 okay triangle there we go. That's another first down. Okay. I think we're officially a field goal range, right? Yeah. I'd imagine. All right. Just not fudge us up, Terry. Just run the ball. We'll be okay. With time winding down, I don't want to get ice, so I'm just going to kick it. Uh, we'll do two. Yeah, because I don't want there to be time left. Okay, perfect. There we go. This game was a lot closer than I was hoping it would be, but it's our first one over Cincinnati, so I can't complain. Let's go, boys. Good W. Kind of rode that wave of momentum. I mean, we went 10 and 2, 8 and 1 the MAC. I can't complain. I mean, it would have been nice to have got undefeated in the MAC, but I mean, it looks like our defense was a little lackluster. Even though they were the higher overall, the two, which is kind of confuzzling. Who were the two losses? Charlotte and Ball State. Come on. I mean, we got to lose to scarier teams than that, dude. It was the game, the two games after Cincinnati. I'm just disappointed, man. I mean, were any of these other games close? I don't know what happened those two weeks, but it looks like we figured things out. I mean, the offense was averaging like at least 35 a game. I mean, my gosh, dude, we were scoring a lot of points. Jordan Rivers, 2,900 yards, 30 touchdowns, only four interceptions. Jordan, all right, buddy. I did not anticipate that. Good job, bro, Chacho. Rushing the ball, Tyler Mason averaged six and nine per carry. Nice. 13 touchdowns, and then Nate Palmer as the backup was okay. Receiving-wise, Jane Williams, stud. I'm gonna miss this kid. All-American, he's an absolute baller. Ernest was good. Colt, I don't know why. Why does Charlie not get... It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. He's been, like, misused the entire video, I feel like. He's just never gotten that many receptions. And then defensively, Darius Lange? 
Sounds like a fungus, his last name. He had 80 tackles. Most TFLs was David McDonald. And he also got the most sacks, it looks like. Good job, David. As for recruiting, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a depressing situation. We have a lot of guys left uncommitted. It's just, it's so hard to recruit guys when you don't have the max thing where you can put 700 points into them. So, us getting fired two years ago really kind of pushed us back. And Greg Miller, he locked us up. Goodbye, Greg. But yeah, the class, it, it's very Moy Pequeno. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven commits. It's not great, but like I said, man, that is the unfortunate situation when you get fired. This guy's name is T-Raw. <laughs> it's like a rapper name or something like that. T-Raw. But it's just an unfortunate situation, man. I think next year we'll be able to recruit at a higher level, but this year it just was blah. Let's get back to the happy stuff. We're playing Eastern Michigan. I mean, come on. This should be a spanking. Look at the overall difference. Like, come on, guys. Don't do what you did last year, kids. Uh, Northern Illinois was right. Yeah, just don't do that. Just go out there and dominate. So far, we are on our way. Only up four. That's right. Jordan's a southpaw. I keep forgetting that, dude. We've got a lot of southpaws this video. Excellent touchdown, though. That was an absolute laser. Why doesn't he get the ball more? I don't know. He gets open. Good job, Charlie. Oh, yeah. Same score. We are doing our thing. Balling. Okay, let's just score again. X. Oh, buns. I don't know what to do. Coach Honey Bun, do I just run? Yes, Jordan, let's go! He had more speed right there than I thought he did. Okay, good job, buddy. Well, they put up more of a fight. They ended up scoring another touchdown, but I think the situation is pretty clear. Just score one more touchdown, and we will be Mac champions, boys. There go. No. R1. Could that be a touchdown? Oh, I think it might be spin. Oh, that was beautiful. God, I wish I could do that. A little ballerina spin. That was awesome. Good job, Tyler Mason. This game's over. So that finally gives Coach Honeybutt his first Mac Conference Championship. Awesome feeling. I hope that the team is happy. They should be. I mean, I thought we'd do a little bit better this year. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping we'd go undefeated and make the playoff. But you know what, dude? This isn't a bad season. Let's just finish it off with a bowl game dub. Yes, this time we're actually playing a Power 5 team, not New Mexico. I think it's the exact same bowl game, though. The Quick Lane Bowl. Yeah, it's the exact same one. Either way, though, we got a chance to be the Power 5 team. We got to go out there and capitalize. Come on. Defense. Oh, it's a red. Murphy. Dude. How did I not make that tackle? Please. Yes, he's short. Let's go. Ha ha. Oh my goodness. They're actually going for it. Okay, we're going to play zone because I don't have confidence in man-to-man -man coverage. Maybe I should. I don't know. Come on. Just do something dumb. Please. Passing. We knew that. We knew that. We knew that. He's on the run. Murphy. In open space. Let's go. I make a tackle for once in open field. Good job. All right, defense. Way to do your job, guys. Offense, start scoring points, please. Yes, we're showing life. Okay, we're up seven. I mean, the defense has just been so dominant. I love you guys for that. Okay, offense. Keep doing what you're doing. Let's score again. Are they going to fall for the play action? I think that's the question. Please. They didn't do. Those jerks. So, oh, square. There we go. They didn't even need to. Oh, it's the backup tight end. We got a nice little one-two punch with Colton and also Charlie. Dude, they tied it up. Okay. Well, this is fine. We've been in this situation before. Just get into field goal range. It's really as simple as that. I have faith. Circle. Holy sp- he can't catch. That's why he doesn't play. How? Okay, well, I guess we solved the scooby doo mystery. I mean, that's insanity. I was wide open. Okay, well, we got to put the ball now. It's awesome, dude. They're at the goal line. Charlie, this is on you, man. How are you at 92 overall and you can't catch? How is that? Okay, well, whatever. Defense, I need you right here. Do something cool. Okay. Lol. Okay, well, we got trapped. Okay, well, I mean, it was something cool on their end, obviously, but 22 seconds and two timeouts, not feel great. Oh, come on, dude. The clock is winding down. We don't have time for all those verbal languages. Oh, goodness. Circle. Okay, we're going to have to pitch this. Pitch again. No. Well, yep. Dream's dead, dude. Gosh, we were up 14 to nothing, weren't we? I mean, I blame Charlie for not catching the ball. It's on him. He's a 92 overall, one of our best players, and he can't catch. That's why he doesn't get the ball. It all makes sense now. Just depressing way to end the season. We got more depressing news. This guy says deuces. Kenny Swain. He's off to Western Kentucky. What about some graduates, though? Yeah, these guys are all solid players, like 87s, 86s. I'm pretty sure they were the, what, second recruiting class of the video? Maybe the first. I think most of these guys were second in some were the first like if i read shirt of them i think they were part of the first so it sucks but a lot of these guys were high floor not exactly high ceiling and they developed here they stayed all four or five years and they will go on to hopefully do great things in life adios friends on a sunny day now and i'll be honest i don't know what to do i, I don't I, i'm just not feeling great about it man john o'tooley we really want kyle stein maybe we'll get i wish we had fifteen thousand points dude this is why getting fired is like the worst thing ever in these freaking rebuilds but you know what onward we're pressing forward we're not going to complain we're taking the high road coach honey bun we're gonna put a thousand points into all the other guys that we have a huge lead for so we have a seven thousand points left over right so two thousand kyle five thousand john am i feeling confident not at all okay well we got johnny boy did not get kyle oh uh, we only got two out of the three man this did not go well so that makes this the recruiting class for this year and it's not great i'm just 
I, I can't say I'm disappointed. I mean, I am, but at the same time, I get it. Like, just wasn't high enough level of coach, man. Hate banging the same drum, but it's really as simple as that. Oh, this guy's name is Stephanie. He's gotta be pissed. Can't imagine it's ranked very high. Now, the glass half full thing. Oh my gosh, dude. Almost in the last place. Uh, the reason why is because we don't have anybody walking on is because we didn't have that many guys graduate. So it kind of worked out well, but next year's recruiting class, it's gotta be like a star-studded, like dog full class. Yeah, it's gotta be a class full of canines. This does help out with the dog status though. Shane, 63 overall athlete, 74 overall running back. He now becomes tied for our highest overall recruit this year right yeah and it's that kind of in a position that we needed a little bit of like injection of talent so thank you shane for being good at running back we got some things going for us this year we can now recruit four-star recruits since we won the mac and on top of that this is probably the best team we've had i i'm actually pretty shocked at what i'm seeing right now holy smokes okay yeah all we gotta do is beat cincinnati we'll be in the big 12 next year maybe we can make a playoff push this year i don't know everything is on the table there is a lot of potential here here. I am liking what my eyes are seeing right now. I'm a big, big fan. Quarterback-wise, it's going to be Jordan again. He moved up a lot in overall. I think last year was an 81. Now he's up to a 90. Clearly, this guy's been working. He's been hitting the books. He's been studying 99 awareness. Yep, he is not going to be lost on the field. He knows exactly where to get the football to. I love that. And then defensively, we have a really strong safety duo with Jason Eaton, six foot 192, and then we also got Luke Schwartz, Caucasian back there. 89 overall, 94 speed, a little white lightning action. Okay, he's got 95 excel as well. I mean, there's not really any weaknesses on this team right now. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. It's just this year, we've got to have like a really good recruiting class to make up for last year's lackluster one. But I have confidence we can make it happen, Coach Honeybun. And I think we did. Okay, Jared Edwards, stud. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, Juco, okay, two Jucos. Three Juco. Okay, well, maybe not as good as I was hoping, but Bruce Smith's really good quarterback. We'll take him. Jafar Stevenson, we got some good safeties. Yeah, this class is definitely better than the one last year. I don't know if it's the best class of the video because my memory's not great. I think we had a really good one like three years ago, but the lowest overall is 68. Like, I think we did a pretty solid job. I mean, we needed quality and we needed quantity, and I think we, we addressed both this year, Coach Honeybun, that's for sure. This year, though, we went 10-2. and two. Same record as last year. Really sucks. I was hoping we take like that step forward, you know, going like 11-1 and one or like 12-0, and 0, but clearly we just stayed neutral. I blame the defense for giving up almost 400 points. Dude, we lost to Army by 46? Oh my god gosh spanking alert we also lost to central michigan by 28 another spanking my goodness man who's on their team i don't know what happened to those two games but every other game we really took care of business i mean it was just our defense wasn't as good as our offense but i mean some of our games the offense played like it's army only scored 10 points so i don't know just kind of a bizarre situation i know army's really good in sim but you know losing to a triple option team by 46 isn't something you see every day but jordan rivers was really good once again yeah he threw more interceptions this year but he threw more touchdowns had more yards he was one of the best quarterbacks in the country rushing the ball was also pretty good john darling with the cool uh cap six foot three 222 mother of god this guy's a creature he's a specimen 14 touchdowns good job john receiving wise antonio adams i mean dude i don't know i don't know it doesn't make any sense charlie just what was his most yeah his best receiving year was this year i mean i get he's a blocking tight end you guys could clearly see his archetype like this guy should be an offensive lineman he's 261 as a tight end what is going on charlie like lose some weight brother i don't know what his pro aspects are looking like maybe he could become like a six offensive lineman i was expecting him to be like a brock bowers kind of guy for us maybe that was too high of expectations but like what a mackie award or something never happened chris common was really good though outside linebacker most tfls and the most sex was mike matthews and matthew white Whitener. Okay. We do have a chance for revenge, though, in the MAC Conference title game. As you guys know, we played Central Michigan the regular season. They bent us over. I don't know how, because you guys could clearly see we're better. So hopefully we just showcase that. Great. Already down three points. Awesome start. Okay. Come on. We got this. We're going to get the lead right here. Have belief, Tanner. Corner out. Yes. There we go. You're finally catching the ball. Good job, Charlie. Fudge, dude. They're trying to respond. We just got to make sure it's only a field goal, not a touchdown. Oh, they're passing. Come on. Throw some dumb. Yes. Oh, I thought he was going to throw it right down there. But he threw it to the back of the end zone. Ah, okay. And they're actually going for it. Oh. I mean, I like this decision personally. I'm just kind of surprised the CPU is going through with it. Are they going to pass? That's the question. Because I think a run is very much on it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, oh, it's a pass. Tackle. Please. Come on, man. Fudge, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, this is bad. We're down three. It's third in Alaska. God, why? They have our number. I seriously, I, this is sucks because, like, we're going to be in the Big 12 next year because we beat Cincinnati. But, like, man, this is not the way I was hoping to go out of the MAC. Okay, I got to try and get some yards right here. Square. There we go. Okay, we still have a chance. Okay, we still have time. Time is winding down, though. Time is not our, en our friend right now. Circle. Somebody wrap outs up. Yes, yeah, circle, please. Oh, no.
Well, you know, there's not really a, a great way of putting this. This sucks. I mean, it's as simple as that, dude. God dang it. At least we're playing in a new bowl game. That's the bright side of losing. The Radiance Independence Pole. We're playing against the Gamecocks. The Raby Turkeys. I feel confident. I think we should win. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. Please, Charlie, get open. X, thank you. Oh, he caught the ball, too. Man, he started, he, you know, it took him three years to figure out how to catch football, but he finally figured it out. Good job, buddy. Good start, guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, dude. Let's go. We're up 28. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know why we decided to play this when we did it would have been nice to play like this against central michigan but who cares if we score another touchdown <laughs> what's going on i don't have any explanation for it i really don't know they only have 64 yards of offense that is absurd like this is an absolute massacre just an annihilation i mean i don't know maybe this just shows this team had untapped potential that we just never reached until we played a meaningless bull game but at least we reached it just like i said it was in a meaningless game but either way this was just dominant bro oh my goodness hopefully we could do that every single game next year man that was way too much much fun but eric is coming back thank you he's to be our best player next year this guy was such an awesome transfer pickup but charlie's going to the first round obviously an nfl team wants to move him to like offensive tackle or something i don't see it at tight end man maybe i'm just a hater charlie but i just i don't see it man and then matthew's gonna get drafted tyron smith jr actually our backup quarterback's gonna get drafted higher than jordan rivers that is bizarre other graduates luke schwartz jason Eads, some of our best players but there's really not that many guys even the program it's just our best players are leaving if that makes sense so hopefully we have better players to replace them, but I don't know. I'm not that optimistic. I think we're gonna have a good team next year, but I, I, I gotta wait and see. We'll see. Saturday day this year really wasn't, you know, very stressful. We just put 15,000 points in adjusted, and we picked them up. So, that makes this a recruiting class for this year. You guys have already seen it, so not really worth... Oh, this guy's name's Jafar. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that, but I don't know. I feel like this is probably one of the better classes of the video pretty easily. Yeah, the depth and the quality's here, and I'm pretty happy with what we did, honestly. I don't really think that we did anything stupid. I think we did a lot of smart stuff. Rankings-wise, I'm pretty sure yeah highest of the video 27th uh four four stars 18 three stars so somebody assigned more four stars but just didn't happen maybe this year since we get another star team prestige it will be in the big 12 so ooh, there is some recruiting opportunities next year coach honeybun going into year seven now and i'm feeling pretty good about what i'm saying right now will this team win a national title yeah i don't know i would not bet money on it but i'm not exactly like a professional sports bet or anything but i mean i'm liking what i'm seeing i think we could definitely compete in the big 12 this year i'm really looking forward to what we can do because i think that we could like i said compete we could maybe win the big 12 i'm really like what i'm seeing right now quarterback though it's very iffy nicholas zug i mean he's got potential i mean he's only a sophomore he's got 80 awareness and he's somewhat fast somewhat athletic like there's potential he's from utah i mean what should help him out is we have eric Bradnax, then we also have bradarius bowens nathan osmele so clearly he's got weapons to throw the ball to an offense so that shouldn't be a problem and like every other year there's no position that we've like really need help at like i feel like it's just a bunch of decent players like i think the lowest overall that's starting right now is like an 85 maybe so, I mean, there's a lot of good players at every single spot. So, I think now the focus is going to be just getting more Eric Broadnoxes, more 98 overalls, because we do not have enough of those. I am an idiot. I forgot to change Oklahoma and Texas out of the Big 12. Well, that's my fault. Uh, even though I clearly put us in the Big 12, I just obviously overlooked it well it makes things more difficult for us so i guess that's uh cool in a way and uh we're projected to finish fourth we're actually at 95 overall we're moving up in the world 93 offense 97 defense Woo -hoo, yeah i'll be honest i don't expect to win the big 12 now because oklahoma and texas will be in our way but i mean we could compete with them like oklahoma is only 97 what's texas 97 as well like we could compete i don't think we're gonna beat them i mean we could but like i said all we need to do is just compete and i think we should definitely be able to do that in the big 12 because uh, everybody else we are definitely Definitely better than yeah i was right we're right below oklahoma okay i'll take it 10 and 1 it's definitely not bad oh we're right fourth i didn't even realize that at first let's go i mean the offense really hasn't been like anything spectacular the defense though it's been pretty dang good okay who beat us though that's the question we beat ohio ball stamming mean, these games are so close we beat one in 10 houston in overtime okay i don't like saying that lost to ucf was the loss okay well i mean we've had a lot of low scoring or one score games i should say this year but yeah the defense has definitely been a little bit better the offense so i think it's taken a little bit of a step back from last year as for recruiting this year it's been nothing short of awesomeness we got a lot of good cornerbacks which i just realized got some athletes really good tight end oh man i didn't even realize he was from right here in ohio but good to see alex beer kick i don't think that's how you say that we got a center cornerback again really good quarterback larry harrell i mean yeah this class is awesome lowest overall is 64 tight end because we needed a backup plan in case we didn't get alex so i'm probably gonna end up cutting uh, mr chandler unfortunately but yeah it's definitely 
the best class of the videos so far. There is a lot of quality here. I mean, I'm pretty happy with what Coach Honeybun's done on the trail. We have the biggest game of the season today, though, Coach Honeybun. I think that we've been waiting for this moment the entire year, man. It's just like when I had my eighth birthday scheduled to go to Chuck E. Cheese, I was just counting down the days, dude. It's been just like this for our game of Goods Oklahoma. They're 9 0 in the conference. Let's make it 9 1. Dang it. Okay. We're down seven. It's okay, though. It's still early. We have a chance to tie right here. One of you two slants. Oh, square. Perfect. Good job. See, we have good receivers. They're going to get open against man coverage. Good job, bro. Darius. Oh, chance to get our first lead of the game. I just realized that the Zug man, our starting quarterback, is hurt. I just realized that. I don't know why I didn't realize that the first time, but... We have the Zugger out. Hopefully, we can just get seven right here, and maybe he can come back for the Big 12 title game. And off to the right side. We're going to run it. Adam. Oh, my goodness gracious, dude. How oh, fuck? <laughs> dude, this was going so well. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not the end of the world. We're only down three. If we get a stop, we will have a chance, but we have to get a stop right here. They're in the shotgun. That means pass. Okay. Yes. That's not going to be a first down, right? Ten no. What the hell? He just got stiff arm for seven. Guys, yeah, well, clearly we didn't want it bad enough, bro. We had to stop right there, and we just let him... How did... Uh, 51, bro. That's just embarrassing. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, uh, yeah, that definitely means that we will not make the Big 12 championship this year, dude. Frick. We'll still have a shot in the playoff, but it really comes down to Nicholas. I mean, he had a really good year, it looks like, but he got hurt. So, yeah, I mean, Cameron's not been as good, but why would, you, why would he be? He's a 78 overall freshman. Like, I'm not expecting him to be, but, I mean, yeah. How long is he out for? I gotta go investigate this. Oh, come on, complete MCL tear. Oh, you can have my MCL, man. Well, Nicholas, you had a good season, Zug, but unfortunately, you are out. So we are going to have to ride the Cameron Armstrong wave. We're also going to have to run the ball a little bit more with Seth Hafaka. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Keon Elmore was pretty good, too. Like, these guys weren't anything special. Receiving-wise, though, Eric was a stud. I mean, I don't know. The offense could have been better if it wasn't for freaking Nicholas getting hurt, man. I think that's the reason why we lost twice. I think if we had Mr. Zugger, I think that we would have had a chance. But, no. He got hurt, so it's unfortunate. Chris was our best player again, or tackler, most TFLs. And he also had the most sacks, too. Yeah, Chris is a stud. Also, Brandon Creamer. <laughs> Dude. All right, guys, this is where knights become kings. First round matchup, we're taking on Missouri. I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay, if we win this game, we'll probably play Iowa. So, I mean, we have an avenue here. We just got to take it one game at a time, though. Well, so much for having a good start. We're down seven. It's all right, though. Still early, I believe. And up to the left side. Oh, that's an easy touchdown, dude. I don't know why Hafaka is so slow. He's definitely a power back, but man, he just, it looks like he's a turtle turtle, man. Like, it takes a while for his engine to get revved up. And nothing's happened since. Exact same score. I mean, I don't know. I was kind of hoping this game would not be that close, but clearly it has been. So we just need to make sure we get seven right here. X. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Please. Oh, it's a tight window. Oh, it didn't matter. Let's go. Quentin Sakambi. Good job, buddy. All right. We're up seven and a half. And now we are up 10. Okay, guys. It's as simple as this. Just one touchdown. Should be GG's. We can do it. X. Oh, dear God. Square. There we go. It's always Broadnox, dude. He is going to carry us to a national title if we have any chance. It's going to be Eric Broadnox, our first round pick at receiver. All right, boys. On the next round. Where we have got Iowa, who barely beat UCLA. I mean, I'm not trying to be that guy, but honestly, if we lose this game, I'll be pretty disappointed. Like, I think we should win this. I don't want to say with ease, but it should be a dub. One of these two slits can open for me. Let's start strong. Circle. Oh, it's just too easy. He can't go. Oh, he did a little nice one. Yeah, that was so cool. Good job, Eric. Gosh, dang it, too. They got the lead. It's all right, though. They missed the extra points, so it sucks for them. But we're only down two. We'll get seven right here. I'm kind of disappointed in our defense, though. I was hoping they'd play a little bit better. Our one. Yeah, looks like we're going to settle for a field goal right here, though. Uh, it sucks, but it was like third and forever, so it's not really shocking. 46-yard attempt. Our kicker makes this in his sleep. You're a sack. Yep, that goes in. Yep, good job, buddy. Okay, we get the lead. And we don't have the lead anymore. It's tied up at 24. Okay, well, the good news is we are practically at midfield, so we just need to get, like, into field goal range. We'll be fine, because you guys saw it. Our kicker's got a nice little boot on him. Jericho? There we go. That's a lot of yards. That's an awesome start. Spin. No, oh, dude, that was the worst spin move I've ever seen. I was so slow, Bardarius. Get out of there. R1. Oh, perfect. That's going to be a lot of yards. Yes! Let's go. Okay, I'm going to play this smart. Get up the middle. Or, actually, I don't need to, because I'm going to have to run the ball. Yeah, okay. We got this, though. They're not going to call timeouts. We are in a really good spot. This is probably one of the easiest kicks imaginable. I just got to make sure there's no time left. Okay, perfect. Right there. Up and throw. Easy! Let's go! A little too close. Like I said, Iowa was only an 88 overall, which is kind of unfortunate. But they did win a playoff game, so it's not like they're bad. But we're out of the semis. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, I'll be honest. I'm kind of glad we're not playing Oklahoma, because we already played them and we lost. But we're playing the team that beat them, so it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. Alabama's also the 10th seed, huh? So they've lost before. It's definitely possible. Possible. Okay, I can get on board with this start. We're at three nothing, and we have a ball in the red zone, so we can make this two score game right here. One of these two slants. Axe, please. 
What the heck? How did he just catch that Brodarius? <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Oh my gosh, dude. The defense just won't let them score. We're still up 10. I mean, this is going so awesome. Jericho? Oh my goodness, it's open. Let's go! Yes! New Orleans 17 now. Well, Alabama definitely made it closer than I would have liked, but I think it's really as simple as just recovering this onside kick, and it should be GG's. Come on, boys. Recovery. Yes! Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! We're gonna be the national title game, Coach Honeybun. And we are playing the 8 seed Wisconsin. It was the 8 versus the 13. Definitely strange, but Wisconsin's got through quite the gauntlet, so clearly they are very capable. X potentially? Oh, it might be a touchdown. Oh, yes, a combi. <laughs> Dude, he is shifty. What? I don't understand. This is the kind of, like, athlete I wanted at tight end, but it took us so long, because last year, or maybe it was two years ago, Charlie was just so big and hunky, but there we go. Nice touchdown. Good start. Up seven still in the second quarter. The offense is clearly moving and grooving. The defense, though, they gave him a touchdown. It's all right, though. Second quarter, I'm feeling really good. X? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that bad? Or was that smart? Oh, smart! Let's go! Our backup tight end, too, is getting out of the action. Let's go, dude. We're playing awesome on offense right now. Okay, I like this. We're still up a pretty comfy lead. We're up 11. Let's make it 18 right here. Come on, boys. Triangle? Oh my god, that might be a touchdown. Osmini, let's go! Man, offense, dude. They are doing their thing right now. Oh my gosh, dude. This game has surprisingly been, like, very comfy. We've been up, like, double digits seemingly the entire game. And we're still up double digits. If we score over time, I think that we will be national champs. Coach Honeybud, let's go! X. No. Square. Brought next. Oh my god, he's too good. Let's go, Eric. Is it about to be officially official, boys? I don't even know what play this is. What the heck was that? Let's go, dude. We're going to be national champs. Yes, dude. The entire team, especially Coach Honeybun, they're going to be bumping. I got a feeling the entire night, dude. Black Eyed Peas. Let's go, dude. I honestly did not think it was going to happen this year, but we got a pretty favorable playoff route, to be honest with you. Like, we avoided Oklahoma. We played one of the worst seeds in the championship game. Like, Wisconsin was only 91 overall team like like i said we just got pretty lucky and you know what sometimes that happens in college football so we will take it let's go it was a very rocky climb to the top coach honey bud starting 0 and 12 with no players but slowly but surely we got this program churn and we went from four wins to 10 to 11 to 11 to finally in year seven going 14 to 2 winning a program with no players a national title good job coach honey bud and if you enjoyed click the video on the screen where i rebuilt indiana in football and basketball i think you'll love it